<laughs> Hello, Internet people. My name is Robert, and let's make a free logo for your business or website in less than 10 minutes. And don't worry if you don't know how to design, as you can use one of the hundreds of templates that the tool comes with. Tape sweat punch. So let's create a free logo in five easy steps. Step one is to go to this URL or just click on the first link in the description. And you land on this page and here you can just sign up by pressing this button. You can sign up with email, enter your email address and create a password and then you're pretty much done. Now I already have an account so I'm gonna just log in. Step two, let's choose a template for our logo. I would choose something you like but something you can then modify to make it your own. So once you create an account, this is kind of a dashboard and this is where you can see all the templates they have. So we can start here, you see already, you can have Facebook posts here. We're gonna create logo in a second. Facebook covers, you have videos and Instagram posts and just thousands of different templates you can create. But for this tutorial, obviously we're just gonna create a logo. So I'm gonna come here in the search field and type in cleaning, cleaning service logo. And obviously if you're looking for other industries, just type that in. And these are all the templates you can use. And don't worry, you can update all of them. You don't need to use them as this. And if you see this little icon, it just means it's for the paid uh, Canva and you can still modify it. And if you like it, you can then purchase them. But here on the left, you can also scroll down and look for the free ones. And now you can scroll through them. And let's say I like this logo. It says it's, it has some animation, but that's okay. We can make it just static. I'm gonna click on it. And now I can customize this template. Step three, design your logo. And remember that logos are quite often very simple. If you know any of the famous brands, they're simple logos. Don't overdo it with these ones, especially for start. You can just keep it very simple. So let's start by giving this a name. If I click on this part, I can give it a name. For example, my new logo. And then obviously here in the middle, this is where the magic happens. This is where we're gonna build everything. On the left, you have uh, the most important sections. Design is where you can change the design of your logo. So for example, uh, actually I didn't like this logo. I can change to something else. Uh, there's the, the same options are here that we saw before. Or uh, here you can also can bring the certain elements you want. We're going to touch upon this in a second. You can also upload uh, your own images here if you want to. You can create text and these parts we're not going to use for this uh, tutorial. So I'm not going to go through them. So let's start. Uh, actually, I like this logo. I like the idea of the drop, but I don't like the little spray thing that it's inside. So let me change this to my brand name. So in my case, it's bucket and broom. And you see that it went too far, so it's now on two lines. I can select all of this text, and here at the top you have all the text editing uh, settings. So you can change the font size. For example, I'm going to make it a bit smaller, so it fits on one line nicely like this. And here you have some other settings that are quite often. You can change the color. For example, right now I think it's gray, so I'm going to change that to white. And you can see it changes it immediately. All right, um, I'm going to select the whole text again and. Maybe I'm not gonna have such a thick one. I can change the font from here. So for example, I could now change to the same font, Agradir, but with uh, thinner text. Now, if you think this is too small or big, you can grab this corner here and make it bigger or smaller. So in my case, I like the size, but I don't like that the little star is on top, so I can move it here for now. Let's give this also uh, slightly different. I'm not going to use the professional because way too long. I'm going to just call it cleaner service and let's change the color to white as well for the description. And now if I click on it and click on this icon, I can move it around like this. So now it's a bit closer to the main text as well. Let's say you like this logo, you want to change the color, you can just click on it and here you would change the uh, color to white or whatever you want. Same thing if you click on the background, it's right now blue. You could just come here at the top and change it to the background you want to. For example, if you want to have a bit more <laughs> pinkish like this. Now, if you didn't like that, you can always come here and click on the undo button, but you also have the redo here at top. And then when you start playing around with the elements here, 
you can right click on the elements and you see you have more options here sometimes you need to bring the uh, elements more uh, forward or backward so that you have a bit more layering if you want one element behind another one so this is useful for that and let's bring another element from here so for example i'm going to search for bucket because yeah that's in the name of my uh, brand so bucket uh, i'm going to look for graphics and you see you have a bucket here i'm going to just grab it and bring it to this canvas and let's change the color to white like this and if i click on this you see there's a little trash icon here so i can delete it from here like this All right cool and let's bring a broom as well and search for it broom so if i scroll down and look for an option here let's see if they have i think this can work so i want it to be full color like that so now it appears here and you see you have two options for colors here one is the stroke and one is the fill this actually works perfectly for this i'm going to change the fill to blue same blue that we have also do the same for for the stroke okay i'm just clicking around here like this let's see if it works actually and you see there's this little sparkles maybe i don't want them i can double click on this element and now i can just here drag it so that it's so those little stars they are uh, behind so we're gonna crop this so once i'm done you see you don't see those anymore so now i can just place it here as i want so for example like this now i can grab this element if you click on this icon it will rotate the broom in this case the element so something like this all right if for some reason you like one of the premium elements you could just bring them here you can play around with them and then if you like them you can always upgrade to canva pro you can also upgrade just for one month and then grab your logo and use it that way uh, it's really up to you but you can play around with the premium elements and you just can't export them so i'm gonna just click on backspace to delete this uh, element from the canva fourth step let's make this ready for website okay i'm pretty happy with this we don't have that much time so i'm just gonna keep it simple this logo right now doesn't really work for a website because it's too big it's too square so we can what we can do is click this away let's click on zero and now we can click here on a duplicate page now we have the same uh, picture here you see there's like pages here page one page two so what we can do is just remove all of this stuff from here and we can grab the text which in this case actually not even description will fit i want only this part in my logo for the website so i can just grab it like this and now i could export this part this is because in the nav bar of your website you only have that much space so you don't want to fill it up with too much stuff for other places like business cards and stuff like that this logo is totally fine it's it's it, it works there but for a website better keep it very simple and just uh, something that is easily recognizable now i'm gonna make it so that the nav bar is blue so i'm gonna keep the blue background for this one but you could also just inverse the colors here so make this background white and then the text would be this blue and they can also work on your uh, navigation so it depends where you're placing this logo on your website step five it's time to download your logo to download the logo it's quite simple we just come here at the top click on share and then you have your download and we're not going to download as an mp4 video we're just going to we're just going to download it as a png now in the free version of the camera you can make it transparent background so just something to keep in mind i really kind of suggested this you could sign up for the 30-day trial period and uh, enable basically this uh, feature and download the logo that way for now i'm just going to click on download and now you see the uh, my logo is downloaded it's a zip file but inside that zip file i have the logo now i could go to my wordpress website or any other platform and place it there and the cool thing is on wordpress for example you can crop the uh, crop the image inside the wordpress so you don't need to have any other tools besides this now that you have a beautiful logo let me show you how to build a website in about 10 minutes and you can place your logo there just click on this video right here